there is this famous military watch collector, Graham Powell. So what he did is uh, he was buying mail subs when uh, nobody heard about mail subs. Nobody cared about mail subs. Mail subs were still selling for like a few thousand dollars. Now, Graham Powell is the biggest mail sub collector in the world. Hodinki made not one, but two videos with him. I I've been at, at his shop. I saw his uh, mail subs. This is mind blowing. This is absolutely mind blowing collection. Today, I will tell you about the watch that nobody heard about, nobody cares about. The watch that still sells for a few thousand bucks, but the watch that will be as big as the Milsa. And the name of that watch is Hamilton Pop. If you want to understand why Pop D is such an amazing watch, Let's do this. Close your eyes. And what do you see when I say field watch? Right? You see this. You see this picture. This picture is a design created by US military. Pretty much every American military watch looks like this. Thousands were made. Um, Boulevard was making them. Hamilton was making them. Algen, Waltham, like Penrus, everybody was making watches like this and they were amazing because like design is so amazing it fits military so well it does its job this design was so amazing that after military stopped issuing uh, watches the design kept going like uh, civilians like this design so much that uh, they started making civilian watches after that uh, like that design is still produced the, the, probably the biggest uh, business that Hamilton is doing right now is making this design and Hamilton uh, calls this uh, khaki. Now, if you're going back to actually military issued watches, US military issued watches that have this amazing, iconic design, there is one problem with all the American field watches, American issued field, field watches. And that problem is size. All field watches issued to US military are 33.5 millimeters or smaller. And there is only one watch, one very rare, amazing watch that is larger than all of these watches. And that watch is not just larger, that watch is a perfect 36 millimeter size. That's, that's just like the, the perfect size for the watch. And the name of that watch is Hamilton Pop. It's unknown the numbers, how many of Fab D's were made. But every single Fab D known in existence uh, has this on the back. September 1970. Not just 1970, but September 1970. While it's incorrect to say that it means that every single FABD was actually made in September in this one month. But for the rarity purpose, that's about, that's going to be about right. Those watches are very, very uber rare. That's why every time you're looking for them, they're not there. They're impossible to buy. Nobody's selling them because they are not there. <laughs> Now, if you think things are bad, things are actually much worse. There are collectors who own multiple PUBGs. Remember Graham Fowler, right? He didn't just buy one mail sub and stop. No, no, no. He was buying more and more and more. Look at this. He has two PUBGs. And he has four PUBGs. Now, look at this guy that uh, I didn't uh, get permission to share his name. Look at this. This is absolute madness. This is madness. How, how did he do this? This is probably like 5% of all FABGs in existence. Now, because of collectors like this, if FABG ever comes for sale, 
this is not just you who are competing for this. No, no, there are collectors who already have FabDs and they will, would want to add more FabDs to their collection. That's why it's so hard for you. So, um, uh, the history of these watches. So, uh, the watches were made during the war uh, and they were made for navigators. That's pretty much the same watch as, uh, you know, um, British had uh, Mark 11 for navigators, IWC Mark 11 or JLC Mark 11. Uh, Germans had uh, their famous BU that also were like several brands were made. Uh, but in US military, that's Hamilton, only made by one brand, Hamilton. This don't mix Navigator and Pile. While both are actually sitting inside of a military plane, and both are doing the job, but they are doing a different job. I made a video about the difference. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, difference between pilot and navigator over here. So. While uh, Hamilton FabD is not just an amazing looking watch in an iconic design, it's not just a perfect 36 millimeter size but it's also a high-end movement navigators needed a very very precise watch uh, because uh, uh, the sm smallest difference in measuring time uh, can uh, end up in uh, like <laughs> your plane can end up in enemy territory like your calculations could be wrong <laughs> so navigators always had the most precise movements possible. Uh, while BUs were COSC certified, I never heard that uh, FabD was certified or anything like that, but it's a high-end ETA movement with very, very big balance. Uh, by the way, ETA movement, so parts are available, and the parts are still available, but it has this very, very uh, high balance. And after my watchmaker, actually speaking of the pre precision and, and quality of this movement, after my watchmaker serviced uh, this FabD, it gained 33 seconds, not in a day, in a month. <laughs> I was wearing it for the whole month, it gained 33 seconds. Another amazing thing that FabD has is this dust cover. Uh, and it's not just dust, dust cover. By the way, when you are buying FabD, make sure that dust cover is. I believe that cover and the dial they create an anti-magnetic shield. That would make sense for navigators, right? BU uh, had this anti-magnetic shield. Uh, if you have different information, please leave it in comments. But I believe that FabD actually has anti-magnetic shield to protect the movement from the magnet. So I owned uh, FabD for quite a while. I did watch fast with it. I pretty much know everything about it. Uh, as a user, <laughs> not not as a history, but as a user. So I want to share some things uh, if you are considering of uh, getting FabD, uh, things for you uh, that you should know. Uh, so the first thing, you will not be able to find it. But <laughs> I already told you this, so, so like, just give up. <laughs> so um, uh, th 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 there are a few, a few things. So, so f first thing that you, you need to keep in mind that uh, FabD has a solid... Uh, bars you will not be able to put uh, a normal strap uh, now that never bothered me because uh, like when you're buying military watch you want those solid bars that so there are some military watches that have spring bars but it's like a like a real military watch has solid bars and that's like i don't i don't uh, consider it a negative uh, another thing is that this serotonin coating uh, uh, on the case, it's actually not what I used to. It's actually very, very dark. Uh, some people even asked me, hey, is it a plastic watch? Uh, no, no, it's not a plastic watch. So now, now I actually, I know that my FabD will look much darker than my other military watches. So now I like it. Uh, now the real negatives. Uh, so there are two. So the lugs are very, very long. Uh, and again, if you put that uh, open-ended uh, strap uh, on, your watch, on your watch, then uh, you have these gaps. 
right? Uh, if you're gonna wear it with a NATO strap, it's not an issue. If you wear it on a boom strap, it's not an issue. But uh, if you put it on like, or you put it on some bracelet, then you're gonna see these gaps. Now, I'm not bothered by that, but what I'm bothered by is the lug width. So for some reason, uh, FabD has 16 millimeter lug width. That's actually something like 16.3, I imagine that. This is like, what, like why? <laughs> uh, so if you look at any other uh, uh, field watch, uh, issued field watch, most of them are 18 millimeters. And the watch is actually much smaller. So you get smaller watch with a larger lug width. And that's, um, that looks balanced. Now for Fab D, you have this like much larger watch and you have a, a, a smaller lug width. So it looks kind of like disbalanced. It's, uh, it looks a little bit kind of like a trench watch on these like uh, thin, uh, thin straps. No, not to that point, but still kind of uh, it's, 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 it's uh, okay. It's not perfect, right? It's not perfect and it's not ideal, but I got, I got to like it in the way that, okay, don't buy FabD if you're bothered by that. But this is this quirkiness of the super cool thing that now while it's negative, but now you start liking it because of this negative, right? Uh, yeah, it's quirky, it's weird, but but that's what FabD is. That's, and it's cool, you know? Strap choices is very, very important topic. So I'm gonna spend some time talking about it. So uh, Fab, so I'm wearing right now uh, my Fab D on this very common uh, olive drop uh, military shoot strap. Fab D was not issued on olive drop. It was issued on the strap just like that, but black, right? So it's unknown if uh, that strap actually had a PVD coated buckle or actually uh, just a stainless steel buckle, but it was def it, it's known that that strap was black. For some reason, I don't like it that much, but I have it. Uh, maybe you will like it more. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's the strap. Now, uh, FabD works great with any boom straps. So I have here two on my picture. Uh, FabD works with uh, British AF02110 uh, reproduction strap. Uh, there is a guy in Australia who makes them. They are great. They are slightly uh, wider than FabD's uh, lugs, but you can kind of uh, push it in, it, it will work. And uh, now in terms of bracelets, I recommend, so start hunting for a US Berkeley bracelet. It's amazing bracelet. It has military history, um, it works great with FabD. And also I recommend uh, open-ended straps. Uh, there are like plenty of them. Uh, so uh, I have a video about open-ended strap here, but now I actually started preferring open-ended straps, not like in that video, but uh, just straps that have metal hardware uh, that uh, yeah, I, I feel they are much more secure. And last thing is prices and availability. As I said, you will not be able to find this watch. They are very, very uber rare. But what you should do, they come up uh, in two places. One is eBay, uh, set up your alerts. Uh, another place I've seen them is MWR, MWR forum. Uh, if you're not a member, become a member uh, and keep uh, browsing, uh, keep uh, looking at the uh, sales on that forum. And uh, yeah, just, uh, Keep looking and looking and looking and eventually you will find that just uh, you need to wait for a very very long time uh, and like if you see it jump on it uh, in terms of prices uh, the last one i've seen uh, sold was sold on mwr uh, for this price it's about fair in my opinion uh, okay so 
yeah thank you for watching this video about the watch that uh, you will never you will never see in real life <laughs> most people who watch this video we will never see this watch <laughs> in real life but if you guys like vintage watches subscribe subscribe